सब्सक्राइब टू कैट विद साहिल शर्मा चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस द वीडियो हेलो वेलकम टू कैट विद साहिल शर्मा इन टूडे इज वीडियो वी विल सी थ्री कमांड्स दैट इज चाम्फर ट्रिम बॉडी एंड शेल कमांड सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द मॉडल First of all, I will create a 3D cuboid for this for these commands. Okay. So we have the 3D model here. So let's start with the Java command. In the Java command, I have three options: that is symmetric, asymmetric, and offset and angle. So first of all, we will see the symmetric. What is symmetric command? And For Jaffer, you have to select any edge. So I will select the edge here, and if I move uh, this arrow, it will increase the distance from this edge for this face and for this face equally. So that's why it is called symmetric. You can see the lobe also. That is the equal distance from a particular edge. That is this edge. And if I preview this command. you can see there is the chamfer so this is the symmetric command you know how to use it so let's do with the asymmetric command you can see here the logo which shows that the distance is different so i can move this arrow independently of this side and if i preview this command you can see the chamfer is different from symmetric one obviously because you have moved uh, the distance of this face independently of this face and the last one is the offset and the angle what is going to happen is that you have two parameters to control that is the distance and the angle and if i show the result the result is same we will get a chamfer but of but you have done it by using two parameters that is angle and the distance so it's all depend upon your preferences means your design what you want to do so this is the chamfer commands very easy now we'll see the trim body command for that i have to make a reference plane for that i have selected a reference plane for this plane and i will move it thing in between because i have to show you the shell command also for that i will require this reference plane and if i select this body this this command is very easy what you have to do is select the body select the tool here is saying the tool the tool is a reference plane it will cut the body in that plane if i select this you will see that the body is divided into two parts and you have the option to keep whichever part you want that is if i want this part and if i want this part it's up to you so this is basically the trim body command now the last command is a shell command what is going to happen is that in certain in certain um, uh scenarios you want a container like shape or the whole body for that you have to use the shell commands very useful very easy to use the there are two option to use it that is uh, remove face then shell or shell out the face what is the meaning of remove face if i select a face it will remove that face and shell all the faces so it's like a container or hollow container and if i use this command it will shell all the faces but will not remove the face so it will make a hollow container that is a container or that is not a container a object which is hollow from inside for example your basketball your football like that so let's let's use the remove face then shell command for that i will select a face here and this is the thickness parameter you can increase or decrease its thickness and i can move in the other direction also and you can see that i am getting a a container like object here so this is 
remove face and then shell command. So what is shell all the faces? What is going to do? I will show you because it have done it. Uh, you will not be able to see. For that, I have to trim that body. That's why I have show you the trim body command initially. So let's save this and use trim body command for this. Select the two. You will see that you are have a hollow object here by using this shell command. Hope you understand these commands and uh, I will see you in my next lecture. If you like, if you get the help from this video, please like this video and share this video and I will see you in my next video.